hey guys welcome back again I am MJ in this video I will show you how to clean install Windows 11 in your PC or laptop by doing C drive format so first thing is we need to make a Windows 11 bootable pen drive okay so I will show you step by step and I will try to make it straightforward and easy so watch this video very carefully so first we need a pen drive okay at least 8 GB pen drive and then open any browser in your PC or laptop we are going to download the Windows 11 ISO file so first we will download the ISO file and then make a bootable pen drive so open any browser open the Google in the Google just type Windows 11 download you will get the first official link from Microsoft open that link okay so here click on download Windows 11 this image ISO file so here select the Windows 11 multi edition ISO file click download and now select the a language so is the official ISO file of Windows 11 from Microsoft here select your language okay and then click on confirm okay now click on 64 bit download so simply click on download the ISO file will start to downloading so save it anywhere on your PC so file size might be uh, different it depend upon version to version so right now file size is 5.2 GB so let you download it it will take some time I will fast forward this video okay okay done the ISO file is uh, downloaded here you can see this is the Windows 11 ISO file. Now we need to make a bootable pen drive. For this, you need to once again go to uh, Google, open the Google, and in the Google just type Rufus. Type it and search it. Open the first link. This is a software of bootable. Okay, so by using the software, you can make a bootable pen drive. So click on the first link of Rufus. Okay, scroll down and download the refuse this is a very lightweight software close the eye and download it okay save it anywhere okay done so we downloaded the refuse and the iso file now it's time to attach your pen drive attach the empty pen drive to your pc and then launch the refuse okay so here be careful so it will auto detect your pen drive as you can see my pen drive is detected you need to attach to your pen drive here okay and after this select the iso file which are already downloaded windows 11 iso file so simply click on select and then uh, select the iso file of windows 11 select it and click open that's it now the main thing if your pc or laptop support windows 11 then you then you don't need to do anything okay just click on start if your pc or laptop does not support uh, windows 11 like tpm secure boot then make a change here okay so if your pc not support windows 11 then you need to make a change here in the image option just simply extend the option and select the extended windows 11 installation no tpm no secure boot okay if your pc not support then only you can support this option and in the partition support uh, click on mbr select the mbr okay and rest of thing keep it default simply click on start so this will remove all data from your pen drive remember okay this will remove all data from your pen drive click okay and that's it it will make a bootable pen drive just wait here it will take some time okay so after this you need to attach this pen drive which you want to install the windows 11 i will show you how to do this okay yeah it's near to complete done so my pen drive is ready i'll show you Yep, here is the pen drive. So my bootable pen drive is ready. Now it's time to attach this pen drive 
which you want to install the Windows 11. So if you are using laptop or desktop, the procedure is same. Okay. So this is my pen drive. If you want to install the Windows 11 laptop, simply attach this pen drive to laptop USB port. If you want to uh, install in the PC or desktop, then simply attach this uh, pen drive to your desktop USB port. Okay. So attach the pen drive to your PC or laptop like this. This is the Windows 11 bootable pen drive. Okay, after this, reboot or start your PC. Reboot or start your PC. When it's starting, press the boot key. Okay, so this is an important thing you need to uh, press the boot menu key. If you don't know which is your boot key, here I have given complete list of the all models and brand uh, boot menu key. So I am using HP. So I will press escape. So if you don't know how to go to in uh, boot menu then watch the youtube video how to go to in your boot menu so when you press the boot key you will get this of list so select the boot menu or if your pen drive shows here then simply select your pen drive so select the boot menu in some pc it will directly show your pen drive like this as you can see hard drive sata and scan this so select your pen drive scan this is my pen drive so select it and simply hit enter so your PC will boot from pen drive. This is a common thing. And after this, you will get uh, press any key to press from continue from USB. So press any key. Then your PC will start booting from pen drive. Okay. And you will get uh, installation. Select your language and click next. And click on install now. Here be careful. Follow this up very carefully okay and if you ask to product key uh, click on i don't have product key we can enter uh, later okay so right now just click on i don't have a product key and here it will give the list of windows 11 edition select the windows 11 pro like this and simply click on next so we are going clean installation of Windows 11. Okay. And check on I accept. Click next. Okay. Now click on custom install Windows only advanced. Click on this. Okay. Now the important thing. Here it will show the all drive of your PC like E, C, D, whatever drive you have. I have three drive like C, D, E and one drive partition is like my reserve partition so don't disturb that partition so drive 0 partition 2 is my c drive you must know which is your c drive okay so in my case partition 2 drive 0 is my c drive which is contained around 145 gb so i am going to format the c drive and install the clean windows 11 on the c drive only don't disturb other drive like d e other drive if you have partition 3, 4 or 5, then don't disturb that drive. Just find out which is your C drive, select on it and format it. So only C drive data will be lost. No other data will be lost from other drives. Okay, this is a very important thing. So I'm going to format only C drive. So C drive data will be lost and it will install the Windows 11. Other data of drive like DE will be remain. So select your correct drive like C drive and click on format click ok and that's it so c drive is formatted simply now click on next ok so don't disturb other drives yep click next and that's it you have done some typical job here now relax sit back have a coffee it will take some time to install the files so after it is installed it will ask to uh, reboot so when is rebooting remove your pen drive okay remove your pen drive then your pc will uh, complete the installation i will show you how to do this so ready to complete it okay so now you can see it's rebooting this is the time remove your pen drive remove your windows 11 pen drive like this yes remove the pen drive and don't press any key 
it got PC will re reboot and start to installing the update so don't press any key just when when you your PC rebooting just remove the pen drive if you forget the if you forget the uh, removing pen drive then don't press any key your PC will start from the hard disk these are important thing if you don't uh, remove the pen drive and press you have press any key then your PC will boot again and again from pen drive so this is the uh, common sense we have to use so then uh, select your uh, country and keyboard layout you can change it later okay so you can select it right now and next keyboard I don't want second keyboard so skip it okay Wi-Fi internet uh, I don't want right now so click on I don't have internet click on it and then click on continue with uh, limited setup so we can do all this thing later okay so simply click on continue with limited setup yeah give your PC name okay sorry my camera is out of focusing yeah and yeah now click next password I don't want password okay if you want you can give it click next uh, location I don't want all the services I don't want so I will turn off this and accept and that's it this is the final stage very soon you will get your Windows 11 desktop home screen until that don't disturb your PC yep finally we got uh, Windows 11 yep it's working fine so after this uh, you need to select the correct date and time automatic time date and time for your pc and install some necessary uh, softwares and drivers connect your wi-fi or ethernet to your laptop i will make a separate video uh, how to do all these things so right now my pc is uh, fully ready and as you can see my all drive is safe d and e drive is safe nothing is changed only drive of C will be erased or formatted so only C drive will be deleted and after this you can install your software update your uh, drivers all these things so by following this method you will not lose other drive data by installing the clean windows slave one so if you have any question you can ask me in comments or you can ask me on the facebook page so thank for watching guys catch you next video please like share and subscribe thank you very much